G'day guys, how are you? And welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can play a sound within your Windows Universal application using C Sharp. So let's begin. So once you've got your Windows Universal project loaded, what we're going to do is we're going to head over here, in our case, to the toolbox. We're going to search for a button. And what this button is going to do is each time I click it, it's going to play the song that I've got selected. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Solution Explorer and right there we've got our Assets folder. If we expand that we can see that we've got our lock screen logo, you know, our splash screen logo, you know, and so forth and so forth. We're going to add our music in here just so it's a little bit neater and we don't have, you know, songs all over the joint. So what we need to do is drag your song into this Assets folder. So my song is right here on the desktop, so I'm going to click, drag it to the Assets folder. If this message here pops up, basically what it's just letting you know is, you know, if you've got like say a three hour long song, um, it's going to take quite a while to move it there. In our case, I've only got like a two minute song, so it takes no time at all. So there you can see the song right there. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to double click on the button to trigger that button click event. Delete this default comment code and we're good to go. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to import our Windows Media Playback. So I'm going to type in using Windows Media playback and the next one we need to import is a Windows Media Core. So using Windows Media Core. Awesome. Okay, so once you've got these two libraries here imported, what we're going to do now is we're going to declare our media player. So if you come underneath this public seal, we're going to type in media player. I'm just going to name it player. Awesome. Now what we can do is we can go to our main page and go underneath this part here and we're just going to type in player equals new media player. Awesome. Now it's time to set the source and play the song. So I'm using it with a button one of uh, click. You could definitely do this for a load event. So you could have you know your app start playing music from as soon as the user is to load the application. So first things first, we need to type in Windows dot storage dot storage folder. I'm going to call it folder equals await. So this is going to be a sync. So we need to put a sync here equals await Windows application module dot package dot current dot installed location dot get folder async and because I'm using the assets folder I'm just going to type in here at assets okay awesome so that's going to it's basically going to search that folder and now we want to tell it what file we want to look for so once again type in windows dot storage dot storage File, I'll just call it equals await folder dot get file sync and the file that we want is called rich uh, girl call and oats dot mp3. Cool, so now that we've told it what folders to go to and then what the file to look for, we want to now declare a few things for a media player. So me personally, I like to have autoplay not activated. So I'm going to call it false. If you want to have autoplay, obviously set it to true. Now we need to set the source for the player. So I'm going to say player dot source equals media source. And then I'm going to do create from file, from storage file. And now I'm going to put another file which is the file that we've told it to look for within the folder. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. We can now just simply tell it to player.play. So let's press F5 and see what happens. Okay, so here's the application here. So let's press the button. And there we go. We can see that it's playing. Now, if I'm going to click on it multiple times, you can just see it's not pausing it. It just keeps restarting it. So. What we could, you know, if we do there is we could create a boolean. So I'm just going to call on bool and I'll just call it playing, I suppose. And then once we've declared our player object, I'll just write playing equals false because it's not playing right now. And then I'm going to copy this part of my code and just write if if playing, um, we want it to stop. So to make it stop, we just set the source to null. Else we want to play. So of course because I'm doing that I need to then say playing equals false because it's stopped playing and then if we are playing we just write playing equals true. So let's start up again and see what happens. Let's click on the button and see it's playing. If I click 
click on it again, it's stopped. If I click on it once more, it's playing again. So there you go guys, there's a quick video on how you can play music within your Windows Universal application using C Sharp. If you enjoyed this video, do thumb it up, write a comment below if you have any issues, and I'll see you in the next one.